Hi everybody and welcome to another workout with me Peter. Today I'm going to take you through a short workout uh, that will help you wind down and it will help you sleep better. Uh, in this workout it's very important that you stay relaxed and that you keep breathing throughout the whole workout. Uh, slowly in with your nose and slowly out with your nose as well. Uh, we're going to stay in the poses a little bit uh, longer than we do if you do a strength workout. And it's important to stay relaxed and there's no uh, flexibility PRs we're going to go for now. It's all about uh, being relaxed now. All right. Uh, we are going to start down on the mat and we're going to start with a child's pose. So big toes together, knees uh, pointing out. And you're going to press the hip back and you're going to reach forward with the arms. Relax and you can put the, if you can, you can put the forehead down on the floor. And if you got a block, you can use that as well to put the head on. You don't want to feel any discomfort anywhere now. It should be, you should feel a stretch, but it should be relaxing. And keep breathing. And keep pressing the hip back and reach forward with the arms. more breath all right let's come up and we're gonna do a low lunge so stand on your left knee and you're gonna put the right leg in front of you and then you can put both hands on the right uh, on the right leg and you press the left hip forward. So you should feel a good stretch in the hip flexors on the, on the left leg. You can press and come a little bit deeper every time you breathe out. Let's come back and put the right knee down, put the left foot forward and press the right hip forward. If, the, if it hurts your knee, if you don't have a mat, you can always put like a towel or a pillow or something under your knee as well. You try to have a straight back as well. You get less of a stretch if you lean forward, so try to come up a bit more. One more breath. All right, let's come back. We're gonna go into a pigeon. So put the hands in front of you. And put the right leg in front, of, in front of you as well. And the further up the foot comes, the, uh, the harder it is, the more of a stretch you get. If you feel any knee discomfort here, then I can show you an alternative or you just skip this one. And then you lean forward put elbows down like if you were about to do a plank same here you can put a block here as well and put the forehead down 
Keep breathing, you can come lower and just relax here now. If you can, you can come all the way down to the floor as well. Yeah, whatever feels good for you now. All right, let's come up. And obviously same on the left leg as well. Right leg straight behind you. Oh yeah, I can show you the, the alternative first with the right leg. Uh, on the back, we do a recline number four, where you put the right foot on top of the left knee, and then you grab onto the hamstring, and you pull. Then you also get a nice hip stretch. This is a great alternative to the pigeon. All right, pigeon left leg now. Put the elbows down. Have a block if you wish. Few more breath. All right, let's come up. Now we are going to sit on our on our butt instead, and we're gonna have a straight back, straight legs, uh, toes pointing up or towards you if you can and then we're gonna lean forward lean as far as you can if you could grab onto the toes then you do that and every time you breathe in you can lift yourself up a little bit and then you try to come a little bit deeper when you breathe out Last breath here. Great. We're going to continue with the quad stretch. So we're going to keep the right leg straight, but we're going to put the left leg, uh, we're going to bend that one and put it behind. And then you're, we're going to lean backwards. And the more you lean backwards, the bigger the more of a stretch you get in the quads. So I know some people that could lie down, I can do that. And you also get a great stretch in the, in the ankle hairs. If you get too much, you can always have the foot like this instead, or you can grab onto it as well. Two more breaths. All right, let's have a straight on that leg. Then we'll put the right leg behind us instead.
last breath here. Great, and we're gonna finish off with something we call butterfly stretch. So put the soles of the feet together. Put them as close as you can to, the, to your body. And then we're gonna lie down on the back and just let the knees fall down. And then we stay here. And this is the pose you could stay in for as long as you feel you need to. Alright guys, thanks a lot for taking part and as I said, stay in this position for as long as you, you feel for. And uh, yeah, again, thanks for taking part and good night everybody.